Hello everyone and welcome back to your daily tarot reading. My name is TJ and this reading is for the energies on and around June 21st, 2022. That's a Tuesday. So we have two different groups you can choose from and they will represent a moment in time, a scenario, and you can feel and see which one resonates with you and you can use that as your conduit, as your link towards spirit as you receive your message later on in the video. So let's get started. Now, the first reading will be represented by this illustration, and this shows us a treasure chest full of gold coins. This treasure chest is also sitting on a green field, money. And the second card that we have here is of a ship in water, and this ship seems to be made from leaves and other natural materials. We can also see that the water is quite clear, and there is a line with a lock that is perhaps going towards the bottom of the um, body of water, and there are fish who are looking at it. All right, so you choose which card resonates with you, and I will see you at your reading. Hello, first group, the treasure chest. Let's see what message we have waiting from spirit, from the universe for you today. What do they need to know? What do we need to inform them of? What message is waiting for them? All right, let's see. So we're going to do a two card draw. Now the first card that you have here is the Knight of Swords. The second card that we have drawn here is the Eight of Swords. First group, I'm getting an indication to let you know that in your pursuit of um, perhaps more money in, in financial stability, in um, maybe even in gaining a uh, promotion at your work. You're able to really demonstrate your leadership skills towards gaining this goal, achieving this goal. Like you are able to actually make this happen. You have the right stuff. You're able to use your mind and you're able to use the energy that you have right now and maybe even the status within your community or grouping or your family to go after this financial goal. The only thing holding you back is you. Maybe sometimes you psych yourself out or you don't think that you can do it. And I'm here to tell you that you are so able to do it, but you are the only person is go who's going to be able to do it. Um, and you have to really realize the power within yourself and know that um, hey, I think we drew this card yesterday for a different reading, but you can see that the rope isn't tight around this person. They're able to stand up and even walk over the ropes. They don't have to be sitting there. Also, if they wanted to come out in style, they could have easily picked up one of these swords and uh, cut the rope to free themselves. So it's up to you. Oh, that's my kitty cat. Um, it's up to you if you want to really take the risk or to take the initiative to go after this particular financial pursuit and you I want you to know that again you are able to do it if you enjoyed this reading and I certainly hope that you did don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for tomorrow's reading all right let's move on to the next one hi second group and welcome to your reading you know as I look at this card I can't help but notice that there seems to be some sort of crown like um, plant floating on the surface of the water almost to say like there's majesty in this um in this person who owns the ship and this person who is represented by the ship and also the harmony that they have between uh their vessel and the the um aquatic life below anywho just a very deep thought on a beautiful card let's see what message we have from the universe for you today what do they need to know what message is waiting for this group we're going to draw two cards here. So the first card that we've drawn is the nine of coins. This is someone who is living in luxury and abundance. This is someone who is able to enjoy leisure time. This is someone who is able to um, just enjoy, take a step back, relax. And here we have the nine of swords. This is, I think the, the, the dire wolf's name is Summer. Is this summer? Oh, or no, no, this is ghost. This one is white. So this is Jon Snow's 
dire wolf. Anywho, this is the Knight of Swords. This is a card of stress and anxiety, staying up at night. Huh, this is a very interesting reading because these cards are so... There's a lot of duality to this. Number one, both of these cards are nines. So there's a sense that we're getting close to having a sense of completion about something. We're having, we're, we're getting close to being sure about something, close to finishing something. But also uh, we're having feelings that this could go either way. So second grouping, the message that I'm getting from Spirit right now to tell you is that I'm sensing that you're trying to harmonize things in your life right now. Maybe you're trying to harmonize um, a relationship between family members. Maybe you're trying to harmonize your work-life balance. Probably it's something like that. Again, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting that there needs to be harmonization of family dynamics perhaps and, and just in general how you're working and how you're spending time with your family. And I'm getting the sense that um, you're not sure which way it could go. You're afraid that it could go very negatively towards you. But I want you to know that these efforts that you're making to find this balance to make things work out in a very more in a more holistic way is going to benefit you, and it will benefit you in more ways than one. The Nine of Coins card, or the Nine of Pentacles, as you might be more familiar with, um, again, is one of abundance, is one of leisure, is one of contentment. And in the card here, in this illustration, we have Daenerys Targaryen. Um, and she's enjoying these gardens with her three little baby dragons. So you're able to not only enjoy your, you yourself enjoy, but also perhaps those around you and those you care about. Are going to be able to come in on the ride and enjoy too. So if you've been worrying about some of the efforts that you've been making to create a work-life balance in whatever way, shape, or form that is, or maybe to harmonize or bring together family members that are not, you know, working out so well right now who are perhaps in conflict or the relationship is having some challenges, I'm here to let you know that of course you might be worried about these things. That's normal to worry about things, but it's going to work out. If you enjoyed this reading, and I certainly hope that you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sorry I ramble a little bit. I'll work on that. Anyways, if you have any ideas about things that you want to see in future videos, let me know in the comments below. No matter who you are and no matter where you are, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.